Hey YouTube, this is Steve. It is the last day of April, 2014. I have a review here of, not of these four items, but I'm going to make a review of the Lansky Diamond Tapered Knife Sharpener. It's really cool, really good. It's all metal with ceramic and carbide sharpeners and a diamond hone here held by a magnet here when it's closed and a magnet here when it's extended. I'll do a review on that. Please look on my channel for that review. And that's for it's for serrations and straight edge. Also, I will be doing a review on the classic Kershaw leak. I'm sure you've seen videos of these and probably already have one, but if you don't have one, um, check out my review of this blade. I'm actually going to be doing a review on this one, which is a blemish. I got it for a couple dollars less than normal. The blemish, it has a couple scratches on it, and it's going to get scratched in my pocket anyways, so I don't care. Everything else works fine, the blade's perfect, and the lock and mechanism works great, and it's a flipper. It's a blemish because it has four X's on it, that's how you know. Check out my channel for the review of the Kershaw Leak. This is the Mora, or Mora Niv, or Mora Kniv, whatever it's called. The Mora Companion Fixed Blade Outdoor Knife with a Sandvik Stainless Steel Blade Military Green. This is awesome. This knife feels fantastic in the hand. Check out my review of this knife. And I got it for under $12 and free shipping on Amazon. Check out my video and I'll put a link in the video to where you can get the same exact one. Brand new for the best bang for the buck. Also, I'll put links for the other two items I just showed you. The sharpener and the... Kershaw Leak, to where I got them at on Amazon as well. I'll give you the links for the best bang for the buck. I'll save you time. Alright, so check out my video for this here. Again, that's the Mora Companion Stainless Steel. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Check out my video out for that one. This review will be on the Mora Craft Line. Q, the letter Q. All around fixed blade utility knife with Sandvik stainless steel blade. The other Mora I just showed you is 4.1 inches. This one is 3.8 inches. <clears throat> now, for comparison, I will show you the other Mora I just had out, only for sake of the. Um, um, the height of the blade. If you're familiar with this one, which is the Mora Companion, you will notice that the Craft Line Q is shorter here. And this is razor sharp, so I have to be careful. And in this view, let's see if I can line these up. This view, you can see that there is maybe an eighth of an inch higher on this one. In fact, where the grind begins and the grind ends is what's missing on this blade height. Yes, this has a grind here to here, but if you measure, if you measure from here to here, that's that's the measurement that's not on this one on the spine so the sp spine is less um, high so this should help you give you a comparison of the height difference and I will actually measure that for millimeters for you I'm gonna measure it the blade at the bottom, and in millimeters it is 20. 
well, while the Q craft line is 17. I'll do that again. 10, yes, 17 millimeters. <clears throat> so you have a 3 millimeter difference. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I was wrong. No, I was right, 20 millimeter. And what is 3 millimeter? Well, let me show you. 1, 2, 3. That is 3 millimeter. So the this one here has this much more uh, blade on the back. So it's that much higher. Lengthwise, this one here is a little bit shorter than this one. How much more? Let me show you. I'm going to measure it from the bottom of the blade to the tip. I can figure out how to do this. All right, so roughly it's 100 millimeters long, roughly. And this one is roughly 95 millimeters long. And to show you the difference. If I put the longest part of this blade, which is the the, the grind, the, the um, edge, to the spine here, which is the longest part, you can see that the bottom blade, which is the, the Mora Companion, sticks out a little bit further. So you have this area here, which sticks out. That's pointy and sharp. Um, and yes, it matters because you have this much more cutting surface to play with with this area here. Okay, and the thickness of the blades. The Mora Companion Come on. Is two and a half millimeter more or less. all the way down. This one is two millimeter all the way down. So this one is half a millimeter thicker. Can you tell? Yeah, you can actually. A little bit you can tell. Um, thickness wise in the middle is 20 millimeter and this one in the middle is 18 millimeter. That's where your that's where it fits into your palm here. It does slim down to 17 millimeter here and um, 16 and a half millimeter here. Well, this one. I will repeat the swell in the middle, that is 20 millimeter. Up here is 17, uh, 16 and a half millimeter, and here is 18 and a half millimeter. So, um, this one has a plastic grip, if you're familiar with that, and this one does not have to have, I'm sorry, this one has a rubber grip, and this one does not have rubber grip, it's all plastic. So with that said, I'm putting this one away, and I'll give you my opinion on this one here. Or I will, or I will continue this video and and, and review the other one as well, and not and not make two videos. Not sure yet. So my first impressions when getting this was, I took it out of the bag. It came in, and I looked at it, and I noticed that. It doesn't say Mora, which I don't care. Um, it has a thumb 
jimping here. So when it's in your belt, you can press down and pop it out with one hand so that you don't pull this out of your pocket or it doesn't pull it off the, the, the button that you're going to pull it on. Um, you put your coat button or pant button or shirt button in here and it locks in right here. That's how it stays on your body. You can also put um, a piece of power cord or whatever in there, hanging on your neck or um, slinging around your uh, arm and neck. It says main is feeding. Um, the back says more knife craft line Q546. Made in speeding. Um, my first impression of getting is well was well, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> Much heavier than I expected. Uh, the case is a hard plastic. Um, it's hard to squeeze. I can't even squeeze that. I'm pushing hard as I can. It has a hole in the bottom for water to come out. The blade goes in only one way. I mean, you can rest it in that way, but it's, it's not going to go down any further. So you have to put it in this way. And it slides down nicely. If you want to lock in, you got to press down until it clicks. Many people connect um, a hair tie rubber band or a piece of power cord through here. And then they make a loop. And when they put it in, they pull the loop over this to keep this from popping out when you, if you're out in the woods or whatever. Or fall in a river. Um, so, upon getting in this, I noticed that it's ultra shiny stainless steel. I noticed that the blade is from here to here, and the grind is from here to here. The edge looks like a razor blade. In fact, the blade is a razor blade. It's known as a um, flat grind also known as a Scandinavian grind. Why? Because they literally put it flat and they grind it. Um, there, there's barely any, they barely lift it at all when they grind, when they um, sharpen it. Usually you want to put it on an angle, like a 15 degree angle when you sharpen a knife to get that bottom bevel, but these are no bevel. <laughs> they are laid flat and they sharpen them flat like this. Most knives are up on a 15 degree angle. Well this one is on a slight angle because the um, I take that back. <laughs> um, they do put it on a slight angle because the grind is on a slight angle. So I guess that's a 10 degree angle rather than a 15 degree angle. Which makes it even more sharper. Razor, razor sharp. And I'm going to do what I never have done with this blade yet. I'm going to see if I can cut my hair. I'm going to zoom in first. And we'll see what we can do. Here we go. I'm, going to, I'm not going to put any pressure. I'm just going to lay it down flat and I'm going to pull it back. All right, nothing happened because I'm not applying the pressure. Now let me apply some pressure. I can hear it cut my hair. And a couple fell off. I'll go the other way. I'm afraid to cut my arm open. <laughs> I mean, these, these things come razor sharp out of the box. I have really, th I have really thick hair, so it's probably not going to work. And plus, I'm, I'm afraid to press down any harder to cut my <laughs> cut my arm open. These things are razor sharp out of the box. Um, what else did I notice? I noticed that the back is actually they're not finished on the back. They don't polish them on the back. I could care less. I'm just letting you know. Um, I didn't try to use the fire steel on these to see if I can spark anything, and I'm not going to try either because I can care less. Um, but yeah, they're not finished on the back. I don't care. It has a clipped point, so it goes. It's right here. It gets clipped from here to here, so it's a more pointy. I bought this model specifically because of this finger guard here. I believe it's called a choil, I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I got that because if I'm going to poke something, or try to put a hole in something, and if my hand's wet, I don't want my hand to, I don't want my hand to slip off 
this handle and slide down the blade if my hand's wet. This prevents me from my finger ever going past that blade as I'm pushing this way. And maybe I'm boring a hole or doing some woodwork or whatever. Um, so that's why I got this one specifically. So if I, um, when I go camping and all, um, I'm going to bring both. I'm going to bring the one with this and what the other one I showed you that does not have it. If I'm going to do something really dangerous or perhaps stupid, I'm going to use this one to protect my fingers from sliding off onto the blade. I will probably put my own jimping up here. I'll take my uh, hacksaw and just put some put some uh, like one millimeter or two millimeter depth uh, lines going up here, so I can have a good thumb support right here. That'd be my first mod. Second mod is I'm gonna put a hole through the base right here. This is called um, well 404 line yard. Um, this is called this is not a full. The Mora knives are not full tang. Um, they don't, they, they don't terminate at the, at the pummel, or the, not the pummel, um, the, the back. They don't terminate here, they stop three-fourths down, right here. And, I would never, I would never ever buy a knife that was not full tang, but, I have a full tang knife in my kit for hammering from the back if I ever need to do that or for hammering down and chopping um, slicing chopping wood batoning this one is not for that but I can use it for that because it does have a flat back here which I can hit with a hammer and I've seen people do it on YouTube and they had no problems but this one is called a push tang because well on old, older knives it'll be wood and they'll push the blade into the handle. Uh, this is a this is a push tang, um, or sometimes called a rat tail. It terminates about here. You can take a magnet and check it out for yourself. But the Moore website has um, like a three um, X ray vision of, um, X ray view of it showing you where it terminates, and it won't it won't pull out because it has notches and holes in the tang, which um, and the plastic is molded around those notches and all, so you cannot pull this out. So. It's very secure. My other first impression was that it's very, very nice. I mean, if I hold it here, you can see that the handle is actually quite heavy. Um, the The balance point is right. <laughs> the balance point is basically right where the swell, right here between the primary swell and then the the lesser swell, right here is about the middle. And that's exactly where you that where your fingers would go. So right below your finger is a center point. So it's perfect balance, um, or the balance I prefer. It does have a groove here for um, grip. Let me zoom in on that. And that's on the other side as well. So it does. Your fingers do rest in that area, which feels fantastic for grip. Also, your your palm pushes into here and fits inside of here for more grip. Did I mention that I got this for under twelve dollars? Yeah. Pretty darn good price, I think. And free shipping if you have Prime on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link I'm gonna put a link below to where you can get all the items I showed already. Um so make sure you check out those links if you want to want the if you want the best bang for the buck. I got mine for the best price on Amazon. I'll put the link for you to get it. So you don't waste any money or time. Um, I will also be putting a hole here. I told you that for a lanyard straight through. Um, I will be putting jimping here. Maybe I'll, I'll put, put maybe put some jimping here. I'm not quite sure yet. Probably not because it already has the the uh, guard here. They do make another one. That I think it has a, a top guard. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it has a different mod, different company. But um, this is the blue handle one, stainless steel. The red handle one is the carbon. Uh, carbon steel, um, which um, I did not want because I I, I could um, I rather have the stainless steel ability, and it, I think they scored about a 58 on the Rockwell hardness scale, and the carbon blade was 60, so I'm not too concerned about two points. I rather have stainless steel than no stainless steel. Um, 
I was I was I was very hesitant to get him more nice because I was it was hard to tell the pictures and videos how thick the blade is. But if you compare it to um, other knives that you probably have seen, I'll, let me compare it to the Kershaw Leak. The Kershaw Leak is the same thickness. And I'll measure this. This is 2 millimeter. And the Kershaw Leak at the base is 2 millimeter. So they're both, they're both the same thickness. So, if you're satisfied with the ri the rigidity and the ability for this thing to handle whatever you throw at it, and to you feel safe with this in your hand, and and you know that you can do whatever you want with this thing and pry stuff and it won't break, um, then you'll also be super comfortable with this and understand that this is 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 the same thickness. A comparison to another knife would be would be a standard lock blade. The standard lock blade thickness. This I'm very comf I can I, I I'm very safe with this. I uh, I'm very comfortable with it with the thickness. And this is um, two millimeters also. So if you're familiar with a standard size thickness pen knife, then you would understand that this is also the same exact thickness. And you should you should feel feel very comfortable with this and buy it. <laughs> And feel comfortable knowing that you have a very, you have a thick enough blade to do anything you want, except for probably um, chipping through concrete. I mean, you probably don't want to do that with that blade. Maybe you get a Becker BK2. That'll do it. Another comparison I'm going to do is the I have a Boker here, and if I measure this blade, this blade is a. Uh, at the top here, two millimeters. Also, I'm very comfortable with this, um, with the thickness, and um, I would I, anything I do with this, I can I can definitely now do with uh, with the Mora because they're both they're all the same thickness. If you're interested with who this is, this is a uh, bear. B E A R Bear Manufacturing Company made in USA. I got it as a gift from my brother-in-law, and I really, really like this, especially the handle. I like this one. It's good. It's a good carry knife. EDC, small, always in your pocket. I like it. This is also one of my EDC knives, the Kershaw Leak. Check out my other video for that. All right, let's continue with. The Mora Craftline Q all around fixed blade utility knife with Sandvik stainless steel blade, three point inches long, or what I say, 95 millimeters. I think that's what it measured. I prefer millimeters, they're more accurate. Um. Looking at 95, 95 millimeters. <clears throat> um, the second thing I did after staring at it for five minutes when I first got it, um, admiring the beauty of it and the quality of it, there's no rough edges or, any, or anything, it's very, very well made, um, I gave it the old paper cutting test, so let me show you what that is. I have sliced and diced a lot of cardboard boxes with this, but let's see if it's still sharp. I have not sharpened it before or after. <laughs> I still crack up every time I get this knife and cut piece of paper. Um, it cuts like a razor blade because it's ground like a razor blade. Um... <clears throat> My I have a pretty crap, crap a pretty crappy paper here by the way it's a cheap uh, copy paper <laughs> Oops A little flick a little twist of the wrist and you get some 
interesting um, results. The other Mora is just as sharp. And I also did the same thing when I got, when I first got um, the Ken Onion Designed Kershaw Leak. It's <laughs> same exact thing. Ultra, ultra sharp. Ultra sharp. Ow. Ultra sharp. And so is this. So, what else could I say about it? Um, all I can say is, uh, stop looking at my video and just click buy and click that link below and buy it. That's all I gotta say. Um, actually, let me show you one final thing here. Um, another thing I love about a knife is what if, if it has a brand name on it, more a knife. That's so important. Also, where it's made, made in Sweden, and stainless steel. If it has the company name, the country of origin, and the kind of metal it is, I'm happy. If it also has the type of metal printed on it, the Sandvik, I would be even more happier. It doesn't have it, but that's okay because Sandvik sounds like Scandinavian, which is the area of Sweden area. So I'm not going to forget that. So I'm not worried about that. And I, so I will give this... 10 out of 10 stars. <laughs> That's how happy I am with it. There's zero, I see zero, zero things that are wrong with it. And 100 things that are perfect with it. Again, no hole, I don't care. <laughs> and no jimping, I don't care. I'll do that myself. I'm still giving it 10 out of 10. Let me get the uh, case. I was hesitant to have a to have an all plastic case, all plastic handle. But as soon as you put it in your hand, you forget it's plastic. Instead your brain says, Oh my gosh, this is the beautiful knife in my hand, and it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. You can push this way, you can pull the material towards you as well, which is I prefer. Keep your knife you keep your knife taut and you pull the other object towards you. Best way to cut. You can also hold it this way and push like this. It has a great grip, protects your pinky. You can sharpen the stick or do some cutting. Whatever you gotta do. You also don't have to use it in the woods. You can use it for doing crafts. You can do it for use it for fishing. Use it for gardening. You can use it for um, in your kitchen, <laughs> uh, preparing food. You can use it for installing carpet. Um, it has endless uses. It's ultra sharp. Holds a great edge. Easy to sharpen, um, and it's just so well built. And you get all of this. The, this is the, like the best knife I've ever held for the cost. This, in my opinion, should be. This should be about 60 US dollars because of the quality. But they only charge you less than less than $12 or less than $13. So I'm going to end this video right here. If you liked my video and my effort I put in it to try to help you understand the, the quality and what you're going to get, click like. Um, also click subscribe if you want to see more videos about technology, camping, knives, tips and tricks in life, etc. And again, my videos are made for you to get the best bang for the buck, to save you time, and to let you know what you're, what you're getting yourself into before you make the plunge. Um, all, my, all my videos are non-biased. Um, I'm not being paid by anybody to review this. Um, what else? Click subscribe, click like, Click share. Share it's all over Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, everywhere. Let people know about this awesome um, knife and the price, and maybe, 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 maybe my review will benefit them. I hope it does. That's the point of my videos. And also comment below if you want. Um, um, sometimes I have. Sometimes I read them. <laughs> Check out my channel for my other reviews about stuff. Also, I'm going to be reviewing this. The Mora Companion Stainless Steel. 
I'm going to be reviewing the Kershaw Leak. And I will be reviewing the Knife Sharpener by Lansky, which puts an awesome edge on all of my other knives. Carbide to reshape the blade. Ceramic to put a ultra sharp edge. This is for serrations, the ceramic part here. And this diamond hone is for honing, you know, honing your knife this way. Back and back and forth. Or for doing serrations as well. It's held closed, but held open by the magnet right down there, and rare earth magnet right there. It also catches all the filings as they fall down. And also over here is a magnet to keep it shut. Check out my review on that as well on my channel. I hope my video helped you out. I hope it made you, allowed you to make a, a good quality um, decision. And scroll below, click subscribe, like, share, comment, and click that Amazon link below my video in the comments in the video description to get the best bang for the buck where I got mine at. All right? Hope you have a great day, and you will not be happier when you get this knife. All right? Buy it. It's less than $13, free shipping on Prime, and you will be a happy camper. All right, take care. Bye-bye now.